This is actually a very exciting meeting for ALA, at, at least for BALL, and, um, because there are a lot of data that's being presented, and there was a lot of data, it's a base three large randomized uh, data that's being presented. And I, uh, we talked about the effectiveness of the CD19 CAR T cells, which is in relapsed patient population, uh, which is still considered experimental and investigation agents too. Uh, but there will be also be, you know, we heard about in, in, at EHA that the data presented in the final overall survival data uh, of a tower study, which is a randomized study between the standard of care arm, meaning conventional chemotherapy patients, and also getting blinatumumab, which is a bispecific antibody targeting CD3 and CD19, so which is a form of uh, immunotherapy to stimulate your own T cells. So based on the data, the efficacy appears to be quite good, uh, but not only that, what they presented here is an uh, interim, but final uh, an analysis of the overall survival benefit that blinatumumab, which is a therapy uh, that's conditionally approved in the United States, uh, shown above and better than that was compared, uh, compared to standard of care arm. So that's quite exciting uh, that we have now the therapy that is shown to be better than uh, what's conventional uh, the, the therapy. But the another equally exciting data that's going to come out is about inotuzumab data that will be presented on Sunday. And that is the immunoconjugate targeting CD22. It's a slightly different antigen than blinatumumab or the CAR -T, current CAR T cell versions are going after. So CD22 targeting immunoconjugate, that is also combined, uh, compared to a standard of care arm as well. Kind of similar group, the, com the chemotherapy refractory or the salvage one and salvage two, uh, the patients with a very impressive response rate, they will be also be presenting the overall survival benefit they also saw in this patient. So we have a two large trials reporting a survival benefit of this uh, uh, of these new drugs over standard care arms. So the challenge actually, which is a good problem to have, is really trying to figure out where all these new therapies fit in, what sequence we're gonna be using, what combinations they will be using in the future. But it's really a good problem to have, now we have this three exciting therapy for patients with a relapsed disease, which in the past has no other, otherwise no effective therapy.